Hello everybody and welcome back to part 3 of the tutorial series um, how to make meshes and apply them in Uray for inside the engine or editor give it a name so in part 1 we made the first part of the road this one in part 2 I already made these four and we applied them as so it would be an inters intersection, T section, T, T road. Um, and now in part three, we're gonna build the lightning. Um, as you can see, we still have the lines in the roads. And we're gonna do something about that. First of all, I'm gonna add another light source. It's just crappy to have just one from one side and have in the other side only black inches. So I'm going to put it up straight from the top, no shadows, and it's going to be a one. So it's only going to be there just to make some extra extra light, causing no shadows or edges or whatever. This is simply done by our normal directional light and that's this one so that's that um, I'm gonna build a light lane uh, just to show you what effect it will give and I will be back in a sec here we are again lightning has been built and we have these weird dark spots those are actually the lightning channel maps, channel maps, give it a name. And we're gonna do something about that. So first of all, we're gonna scroll down to source lightning index, give that a one, put the channel to one and save it, keeps it at one. And test I'm gonna build it again so be back in a sec and we're back again lightning has been built uh, still some strange shadows over here but we will fix that later on uh, for now looks pretty good so we're gonna do the second one there is an another additional step we need to do but I will do it on this one actually let's just do them all first uh, the wall is gonna cast a shadow, the edge is gonna cast a shadow. I'm gonna turn this off, it's gonna be off. Uh, but the rest of the road doesn't need to cast a shadow, so you can uncheck these three materials, and that's one. Like the other one, we need lightning index one. I also want this one to have a one LED for collision and the light map coordinate index set to one. Give it a, another channel and go on to the next one. Yes, I want to save all changes. This one do exactly the same, only the wall and the edges should be causing a shadow. Zero to one, one and another one. Yes, I just press save. Again, one, one, and one, save, and again I said save, and for the last one, these two, And we're gonna build the lights again. So again, gonna be back in a sec. And we're back. Um, again, a small part of shadows, not really something to dive into right now. I'm gonna do that in the next part. 
but for the overall view, I think it looks great. I can use this. I hope you can too. So I'm going to wrap this video up again. This was part three and I see you guys in part four. Hope you enjoyed this one again. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and stay tuned. Later.